The Chamberlain garage door opener. That's the mortar. I stripped one already, a metal one, a Chamberlain with a metal case. That was the mortar came out, and that was the board. Board, a nice copper mortar came out. So these garage door opener ones are actually pretty good. You find them, we're taking a nice copper. Okay. Little piece of piece of brass here. It's gonna pop it off. It'll take a second. Okay. So now some screws on this side. Okay, circuit board. Two screws. A little wiring. Okay, obviously, there's a crystal here because the remote control runs off a frequency, a little IC chip. No big deal. Okay, here's so this is partially metal here. Okay, wasn't sure. Okay, I'm gonna cut all these leads off here. Okay, so we're gonna take the screws out, the screws on the side here. Two on that side. Two on this side. Okay. Okay, this one is what it's doing is a pair of pliers. It's turning. Okay, that's that one. Okay, that one's out. Okay, that one's out. Sometimes it's a little tight to get in there after jam a screwdriver. Okay, one's out. Next screw here, if I can. Easy place to get to it. Problems I can't see it, so I'm having problems taking note. Why is this giving me so many problems?
Okay, my problem is because I didn't take this off. This capacitor. There. Better angle now. Where's the screw I'm taking? Okay, right here. Hold one in there. Okay, there it is. This one has a bracket on here, which is a little bit strange. Okay. Yeah, this the other one didn't have that bracket on there. So you need a need hex. Put an size smaller. Weird how some fit, some don't. Why is it doing that? I think that would be the right size, it's not. Okay, let's see what I have in my screwdriver section here. Not it. I think this is the one here. One of these here because I know it's an in between size. Once this comes off, the more should pop right off. It's not the one. I understand why it's like in between. Why is it doing that? See, when, when you take this Allen key off, the motor should pop right out, like the other one. I see nothing like it in between sizes. Oh! Let's see if I can... Why is it doing that? Screwdriver up. Don't know, understand why I don't have the size. I feel like a metric size or something. The other one went so easy. See, it's not that size either. This one's too small. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, got it. It's one. It's another one here. There it is. Perfect. Pop right out the motor. You know, it's a stupid thing, it should have been so easy. Should have been should have out in seconds, see? They had that uh the other one didn't have that thing on the end. I don't think this is copper. It may not be copper this one. Can't seem to find my file. I don't think it's copper. No shit. It's aluminum. See, win some, lose some, right? This one's 100% copper. Next one's aluminum, and you know what? The aluminum one had lots of plastic. So maybe sometimes 
You know, do something worth it by time. Okay, well, that was a failed. But anyways, one was copper. Just so you know, maybe find those chamberlains that are plastic. Center steel and sides are all really plasticky. Maybe you don't want to strip those. Cause I think they're too new. And they probably just cheaped out on, on the parts. Never went for copper, right? Okay. Detachable front face car stereo. I just took the boards out. I only want the boards, so I just want to show you the boards. What kind of boards you can get in those car stereo, see that? So it'd be worth stripping actually, so if you find them, just grab them. Okay, so that's that, car stereo. There's a grill. It's a cheap George Foreman style grill. And this, this will be cast aluminum, if you don't know. You hear the ringing, and it's coming. See a little screw here. Since there's a, there was a spacer on this one, this one should be easy to get out. That's clean. Cast there. This one's easy to come out too, see that? Cast, very easy to strip. And this one will just take some wire off. Okay, so that's it on that one there. Okay, anyway, working on these computers that are just shells mostly. The last guy took took most of the stuff out, but Determine where exactly those screws are. You can't see. Oh, here's another one. Okay, it's board here.
I don't think it's that good of a board. No. Crappy board. Let's eat some cloth here. that impressive anyways okay well those heat sinks are hard to get off because they're intertwining between pressed in they're really good tilt later um Another pill. You know, I looked everywhere for my nut drive. I can't get that size. I tried everything. I don't know what kind of weird sizes they are, but having problems with those. Basically, I just I'm just gonna leave the plastic on the front. Take out, take out this DVD drive. So this one's ready. Keep loading. Strip load, strip load, strip load. Power supplies I'm just gonna cut off now. Put power supplies in here. Some of these got gold plating, so some of the pins. I'm gonna cut those off just while I'm here. So just two. Some have brass, that one didn't have brass on that main spinner there. It's a heavy case. Yeah, it goes into torques. Another in between size again. Okay. Little hard drive this one. Oh. 
Oh, there's an cutting. Oh, so. Lots of cables. Okay, what this one here? This one here. This one I gotta do all by hand. So I'm gonna stop it here, but another board here, not that impressive either. Looks like it's a little bit too new. So I actually got the CPU, this one. Let's just check the CPU. CPU it's pinless. Okay. Okay, so anyways, this one I'll strip and I'll throw it in there. Do the same thing you just saw a second ago. Okay. Pump here. Let's take it apart and see what it does. See exactly what's in it. So far I can see two screws. I thought I had it, but it just still seems tight. Okay, that's loose. Okay. Four select screws. One reversed on this side. Okay, I see. A few on this side. We'll see if this is worth just throwing a shred the way it was. Any plastic? Hmm. Not really, really nothing there. Look how it's built. I don't know how they even get air out of this thing. Oh, a little tiny little compressor there. Look, you see that? Or a little cylinder. Cylinder. Or actually, I mean piston. A little piston there. Take some mortar off. Okay, well, this is it. See that? The little thing that just rotates back and forth. It's like dirty aluminum. Um, mortar. Very tiny mortar, almost like a printer mortar. So I'd say just don't shred, don't bother next time. Here's some uh, Electron Pure Heartbeat, it says. Mm, whatever it is, let's see what is inside it. So, probably sealed pretty good. Oh, it's with the water in it. Oh, it's full of water. Not still too good.
Okay. Got lots of wire in it. Okay, some more wire here. It's actually a heavy duty wire, like, I don't know why they put such a thick wire in here. You can tell it's like, Lots of copper in there. Very uh, hard to hard to twist. I think this will can go to dump. Let's grab here the way it is. So really, what does this thing do? I'm not sure, but anyways, it's taken apart. That's all we can do. IC chips there. Okay, not too great. Let's see how this mini system looks like inside. Plasticky, actually. Okay, well, one IC chip, transformer, off here pretty good size transformer heat sink here okay aluminum clean Actually, more heat sinks here, actually. Smaller ones. chip in the back ok 
Okay, need a little bit of wire. Looking for this thing. Sometimes these pins, you have to clean these pins off. Probably. So if you go like this, watch as, as I go around. Oops, one broke. Just go like around, and it comes through. There's a little socket that comes out of. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Round, like that. See that? See the pin? That's a steel pin. There it is. So you got that. That's clean. A nice icy chip here. There. Copper spool. Take the spool off. Wire. Okay. Let's go on a shred. Okay. I see chip. Yeah, that's a different kind of a chip there. Anyways, got a wire on that one still. Okay, I don't know. But anyways, the heat sink here. If you just take the heat sink off, you're ahead already, right? Right there, see that? Probably half a pound. Okay. So this basically just snaps, snaps apart somewhere. There's a couple of screws here. One's a little harder. That screws on the face plate too. Okay, hit my GoPro on that piece. Pop that main chip off. Put that over there. Screws here for board. Come on. There it is. Some IC chips here and stuff and whatever. A few things. Let's check this next coaster out. You have to knock off this plate. Okay, that was it.
This one just shoots an app. It's actually gold plating, lots of gold plating on the with the face joins. It's usually stuck on the board, so if you get take the board, you're okay. Here's a heat sink on the side here. Get my white screwdriver. Nope, need a fine screwdriver. Should work here. Yep. See if that's aluminum. Yeah, it's cast aluminum. So we're okay on that cast. Screw on the bottom. Okay, that's that. Yeah, these are screws I can get, so now I got a screwdriver, I'm okay. Okay. Okay, let's switch back, I think. Hmm. Hmm, see nothing. Nothing obvious. Very tiny screws. Let's see if I can switch back. Maybe that's the move. That looks really, really too fine. Got a CD in there. Hmm. Let's see what that was. Motley Crew. Okay, well, let me just figure this right screw combination here out. So, on. this is the combination of screw out. That's a piece of brass there. There's a little mortise here, but I'm not going to bother. Now we have the board. And I believe these are brass too. These two are brass. You know. Take those off somehow. We just snap them. Yeah, snap them. Okay. You don't see no screws, so it's holding this thing on. Here's a flat I see here. A couple more here. There's nothing there. So here, a few ICs, not a lot. Okay, we're just gonna open some modem quickly here. 
Should be a bunch of screws. Yeah, gonna need another screwdriver again. Can't believe things changed so much here, I'll tell you. This one's too fine now. See the the torques. That's the problem. Can't tell, but they are. You just do it like that so you can't actually work on these things. Okay. It's the board there. Let's we'll see what's under that chip. I mean, uh, under the heat sink. Yeah. See, the only good chip is maybe this, this, these couple. I don't think these are any good, as far as I can tell, there. Another one in there, and one more. Sink. Okay, that's it on that one. Okay, here's that organ that I have. I've done nothing with it for so long, so. So much crap on it. It's unbelievable. Spider web of wi wires. I don't know how I can strip all this. There's so much. tape deck here too mm -hmm. almost in the scrap of the way there there's so much stuff on it the massive amounts of wire I don't know if you were a technician and there was a troubleshooting a broken wire or something I don't know how you would troubleshoot it this is crazy some of the wires
that. Solid wire, heavy too. Got lots of weight to it. Just gonna snip everything from the bottom level. It's easy to feed the wire through. Circuit board. And it's heavy wire, it's not light. It's a solid wire. It's old wire when copper is cheap, I guess. Didn't care about the gauge, just went a good gauge of you know good wire. Say so it's like you know you go the bare minimum today. Okay, look at this. Oh, it's a lot of wire. Cut it there, maybe here. Cut it by the plug. Not seen no, nothing really precious in these things. Should I grabbed this because I was curious to see if there was any precious metals. Not seeing nothing precious in this thing to be honest. Miles of wire. But I think there's tantalums in here. All these little canisters. I think they're tantalums. That's kind of why I held back on this because I think I can at least get the tantalums out. Look at this perfect bundle. Okay, I'm just gonna keep stripping this. If I see something good, you know, I'll, I'll show you those um, things. I think they're tantalums. There's that little tape deck here. I'm gonna take that off right now. The tape deck might have been worth money at one time just because you're restoring organ like this it's, yeah, it's a factory one right let's take a look at this tape deck for a second since we're here copper mortar Copper more here, I can't reach it. Just then, need a fine screwdriver. This is the one I want here. Mm, it's not the right one. And yeah, this will be it here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Take the circuit board off just to see what it looks like. This is the mortar. Tiny little mortar. Right there, mortar. Circuit board. Really, not much more in here. Just throw it in the shred like that.
do too much of it. Okay, really not much in there, just the motor I took out. That's it. Okay. The wires here is just like crazy. Like how would they even know how to weld or solder all this stuff? It's just ridiculous. Like the backbone here. It's just too much wire for me to leave it. Transistors look interesting there, like the gold plated ends almost. Okay. So these transistors here, I'm thinking they were taken. Yeah, they could be gold leg transistors, I think. I'll have to take it out after. I'll take the board out and I'll show you after. I'll show you these uh, transistors, I think. But I see the gold, gold legs on them. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And I got some aluminum, came out of there. Pretty heavy aluminum. And there's two more pieces of aluminum there too, on that one. So all the uh, wire. You see the amount of spiders in here. All, all kinds of different spiders, like not just one brand. It's like one kind, I mean, this is so many different kinds. We have to live in together. And then they got those wood bugs. They call them wood bugs, I don't know exactly what they're called, but find them around rotten wood and stuff I think I gotta cut it like this because it cuts wide see these could be tantalum see these little metal caps Here's some more metal ones too. Good, good possibility they can be. Have to determine later on those. The old school tantalums like that canisters. At least the organs I can get out of here. I'm sitting for some spring cleanup. Just like I say, it's just time consuming, it's so many wires and it was really heavy to start with. There's a couple IC chips here. Let's go throw those boards in there for now. We'll do some research on those and find those out too. If they're tantalums or not. Double decker. Oh, we got some icy chips. Oh, wow. surprising.
I found an organ before, it had a bunch of, um, it was all icy chips actually. It was an old one. But it had lots of icy chips in it. I still have the boards. It even had gold fingers on the boards. They were plug-in slots. I found that the spring cleanup it was already torn apart, but I went in there and started pulling out circuit boards and stuff. Okay, well, back to you again. Cut some more apart first. Okay, okay, in the organ here. I have to show you, there's gold, gold leg transistors probably or something like that. So there's gold legs there, gold, gold, gold. So not a, not a lot, but there's some. There's three here, three there. That's six. And then uh, I got a, one transformer. Uh, this all aluminum I got there. Aluminum. All this. So all this came out of there. That's for the organ. And then the power supply. So not too bad. And then like I say, I got the transistors here. The gold, gold leg transistors, if you can see that. Okay. So this is the stuff I'm keeping for now. To determine what, what they are exactly. Sometimes you gotta tap it. Not doing nothing. There it is. There it is. That's your power supply. Transformer. Some electronics there. So that was the doctor I took apart. Let me get these legs out. Okay, that's one. Two. bit of uh, hard plastic yes. okay another plug here there it is Piece of brass. I just got more in there. A nice big piece there. That's another big piece there too. There it is. There it is. Two pieces. Okay. 